The first season cinematic of Black Ops Cold War ties together the backstory of Black Ops and Black Ops Cold War, introduces us to two new operators, Stitch and Xenia, and it links to the new maps among which Mall at the Pines and the new Warzone map of Rebirth Island. The cinematic and teasers leading up to it provide us with a lot of backstory on Adler, Stitch and Rebirth Island and how this will tie together not only with Warzone but also with Modern Warfare. some pieces of the puzzle, but doesn't know he's a piece himself. He won't live long enough to work that out. I won't show him the mercy he showed me. I was in charge of the production of Nova 6 on Rebirth Island. I answered to Colonel Kravchenko himself. I was loyal, my star ascendant until the Americans found us. That's when I met Russell Adler. He could not break me. Tell your boss, this is for Weaver. For letting Rebirth fall, Kravchenko sent me to Gulag, where I found my true calling. He's trying to bait you, Adler. No shit. But if we don't stop them, civilians are gonna die. Do it. What the hell? He's manufacturing Nova 6 again. Vigard Stitch Kuzmin is an ex-KGB operator who worked on Nova 6 on Rebirth Island. Born on August 14, 1938, Stitch was born in Moscow and graduated from the Faculty of Technology of Organic Substances and Pharmaceutical Chemistry of the Mendeleev Institute of Chemical Technology in 1959. The same year, Stitch joined the KGB Operations and Technology Directorate and was assigned to Laboratory 12 of the Research and Development Facility. Six years later, in 1965, he was assigned to manage production facilities on what is most likely Nova 6, where he directly reported to Colonel Lev Kravchenko. His research led him to Vosrozdenya, in the common tongue known as Rebirth Island. The Soviet base was established on the island in 1948 as a secret Soviet bioweapons facility, which tests a variety of biological agents including anthrax, plague, brucellosis and tularemia. During the Cold War, the base on the island was used by the Soviets to further develop the German biochemical weapon Nova 6. In 1968, CIA troops under the command of Grigory Weaver and Jason Hudson led an attack on the island to extract the Soviet allied former Nazi scientist Friedrich Steiner for information about the number station and at the same time Mason had infiltrated the facility in an attempt to kill Steiner. As Stitch was researching Nova 6, he was captured and interrogated by none other than Russell Adler. Other than his name and rank, Stitch didn't give up any information, but in retaliation for Weaver, Adler slowly pierced his left eye with his knife. But his eyesight isn't the only thing he lost. Kravchenko, punishing Stitch for failing to repel the CIA operation, stripped him of his rank and sent him to the Petrov Pavlos Gulag, the same one that Captain John Price got sent to years later. Here Stitch found his true calling. After spending eight years in the Soviet Union's most horrific prison, in 1976 an attack by a small team of unknown operatives leaves a path of destruction with guards and prisoners dead. In the aftermath, Stitch is discovered to be missing. Initial contacts made in 1970 revealed a broken man questioning his loyalties to a state that had abandoned him. Driven by a burning hatred for Russell Adler, the CIA agent that had taken his eye and cost him everything, as well as his former commanding officer, Kravchenko, he was open and receptive to Perseus's vision for a greater Russia. 
As Persia states, his singular drive will make him an excellent asset and his first-hand knowledge of Project Nova will be invaluable in achieving our goals. On January 20th, 1984, eight years after Stitch's release from the Gulag, his trial was picked up again. The CDA safe house in West Berlin, Germany is under assault from unknown operatives that strike an uncanny resemblance to Perseus' soldiers. As the dust settles, Stitch enters the room, walks over to the evidence board to reveal clues on the hunt of Perseus. Adler's team linked Stitch to Nova 6 and Rebirth Island. The post-it on the lower left says Kravchenko and Stitch allies or enemies. A question that's easily answered, as I'm paraphrasing from his bio. Driven by a burning hatred for Russell Adler as well as his former commanding officer Lev Kravchenko. The post-it to the upper right says Nova 6 is gone, Cheddar says no. Another question easily answered. One of the creators of Nova 6 returning with a burning hatred of both Perseus' allies provides the answer we need, but Nova 6's return is confirmed a day later. The photo below shows a Polaroid of two soldiers with the subscript of Ficor142317 something, showing a piece of Stitch's history. Above the photo it shows the logo for Nova 6 with the elemental and chemical composition of the nerve agent circled on the periodic table. Hiding in the left corner of the screen, the photos of Dragovich, Kravchenko and Steiner are marked with KIA. However, the post-it below it saying Woods BFF is MIA could sarcastically hint to the CIA being suspicious that Kravchenko had survived his supposed death. And finally, a large aerial photo on the lower right provides an overview of Operation Rebirth in 1968, the Warzone map coming with Season 1. Stitch's assault on the CIA's safe house was taunting Adler as he left a flyer of Mal at the Pines with the note, Time We End This. Although realizing it's an obvious trap, the night after, on January 21st, 1984, Adler, Zenya, Woods and an unknown operative entered the Mall at the Pines in New Jersey, revealing Stitch had an ambushed plan with Nova 6 wired explosives. Adler and the CIA strike team find themselves trapped and surrounded by enough Nova 6 nerve gas to throw the world off its axis. He's manufacturing Nova 6 again. Kill the rest. Adler is mine. The season 1 cinematic ties together Black Ops Cold War with the content of its first season impressively, linking the backstory of Operation Rebirth in 1968 with Stitch leading the development on Nova 6 to his vengeance on Adler was impressive enough as it is, but combining the season 1 weapons, operator skins and the Warzone map of Rebirth Island is very well done. It could even tie together the chlorine gas from Modern Warfare to Nova 6 in Black Ops Cold War. Thank you guys very much for watching. The creation of these videos is very time consuming, from writing the script to designing the motion graphics. If you like these type of videos and want to support me in continuing creating, there are several things you can do. Liking or disliking, depending on what you thought of the video. Other than views, this shows me how much you like the content I put out. Subscribing reinforces your support and shows me you want more videos. Leaving interactive comments or feedback reminds me how I'm not just doing it for myself and shows how I can improve. And the last way to support me is to join the channel and become a member for 1, 5 or 10 dollars. Other than badges and emojis, I haven't created rewards yet, but I'm always open to suggestions. With that in mind, I want to say thanks to Hidden Foxtail, Khalil Cheeks, Nervous Wrecked, WolfK418 and Sparky22 for being members of the channel. Your support means a lot. The more support I gain, the more time and energy I can invest in YouTube and in turn this will result in more frequent uploads and higher quality content. Whatever you decide to do, I'll be here because I like what I do. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.